Hello and welcome back to a Dark Academia video. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the library essentials you need to have. I'm going to be talking about a few of my favorite short story collections, which I know most people are not aware exist, and I'm telling you, you're sleeping on it. Short story collections are the best, so I will be introducing you to some of my favorites, and I will also be introducing you to some of my favorite decor for my desk and my shelf and my little home library, but I think all of these pieces could be used in your own room and they all fit within that dark academia aesthetic and I know we're in summer but I'm so excited for fall but I also wanted to let you know I do have a summer wardrobe haul coming so be prepared for that. So let's talk about short stories. I love them. I think that they are one of the best ways to, one, get back into reading, and two, really dive into some uncomfortable topics without having to feel like you need to read 80,000 words of something dark and horrific and it messes with your mind. You can get a taste, you can get a glimpse, you can go back for more. But I think short story collections are one of the most powerful pieces of literature and people don't know they exist. So. First, let's start with the diving pool. I think I talked about this earlier. I'm not apologizing for putting it on here again. Three short stories. They are dark, they're creepy, they're weird, and their prose is just absolutely amazing. And I don't know how that happened considering that these were all written in Japanese and then translated. So props to the translator. These stories almost feel like there's no plot bear with me they almost feel like there's no plot until you sit on it and maybe read it again and then you realize the really dark undertones carrying the stories speaking of her next book revenge is absolutely amazing there are 11 short stories and they are all dark and sinister and similar where you read it you get to the end and you're like wow that was beautiful that was creepy that was dark and then only later on do you get a light bulb moment and you're like oh my goodness some of the best writing out there i cannot i cannot recommend this enough starlight by hannah lee kidder i originally found her on tiktok i saw someone reading some of her stories and i loved it this is the first time i was really introduced to anything near flash fiction and micro fiction so there are some really short one page stories in here excellent great this is not as wordy and thematically complicated as the other collection i just mentioned so these are great if you just want to pick up and have a creepy story if Creepy's Not Your Thing, Little Birds is a contemporary collection, and this just drips with melancholy. It's also by Hannah Lee Kidder. I think this was her debut. These are short stories. I think this book is only 70 pages, so you can really fly through it. And also look how just beautiful this cover is. Love it. So I think that this is also a great one to introduce yourself into the world of short stories. Scribbles and Scrawls is also an amazing short story collection. This one was just released a couple months ago, so I'm not sure why people are sleeping on it. But this short story collection was recommended because I read this short story collection, and this is, I think, 15 or 16 short stories. These stories are dark and creepy, but not grotesque and gross. The themes are constantly under the story, so you're given this beautiful setting and characters and things happening, but you can just tell something's off. You can just tell something is sinister in each of these very different stories. If you're trying to get back into reading, I highly recommend short story collections because you get to feel satisfied knowing that you got to finish a short story and you got a complete story and you're not stuck and beholden to a giant book in order to get that satisfaction. I don't know, I just think short story collections are amazing and they're beautiful pieces of literature and people are sleeping on them. And if you really don't know what type of book you want to read, get a blind date with a book. These are all over. You can find these on Facebook marketplaces, you can find these on Etsy. This is just one of the cheaper ones that I found, but you can pick your own genre and they will send you a book and it's a surprise and I think that is absolutely fun. And the packaging is always so cute with this shop, but there are a million shops out there. And if you can, try it and buy from a local or indie person. And would you really be a dark academic if you didn't have a plethora of candles? I know this whole reading on a rainy day title and whatnot is cheesy, but oh my gosh, it smells so good, so soothing. I think there's some lavender in this and it just ugh, sets the mood and the tone for just a cozy, cozy day. Same with this one. I don't know what's in it. It just smells like home. It's just, it's so great. I love it. I also absolutely am obsessed with this sweater. I know this isn't like technically a clothing haul, but I just 
think it's so cute with the dragonflies and whatnot so i just wanted to put it in here because i couldn't wait for the clothing haul one you guys this sweater is so cute they have a couple of colors i naturally did the black one but i kind of regret not getting this green one I don't know. I might have to do it because it's just so cute, so classy, especially if you have like a college shirt underneath. So cute. And the next thing are these dark academia pictures. They're not stickers. You do have to put some sort of adhesive if you want to put them up on your walls and whatnot. I personally am a big bullet journaler and I use these as bookmarks and I put them in my bullet journal. I just think that they're really fun and cute. And especially if you do the snail mail thing, these are excellent little pieces just to put in mail. I think it's really cute. And the next thing is is another fountain pen. I have slowly fallen into the trap of loving fountain pens. I think that these are way too much fun and as someone who is trying to get better at their handwriting and calligraphy, I think having a fun pen just definitely makes writing more fun. So this is why we have this. I think it's really fun because you've got the clear part so you can see the ink and I don't know, it's just absolutely satisfying and it's pretty dang cheap. This is also a pretty great gift if you're looking for something for the dark academic in your life. And the next thing that we have are these candles. I know we talk about candles all the time, but I just had to brag on these because you have so many candles for so cheap and you can pick any of these colors and so you can really really mix and match to go with whatever aesthetic that you're going for so for example my colors are like a dark green with flecks of gold but i really liked these blue ones for my bathroom i just loved them and i was super tempted by these purple ones and so just having this flexibility with really good candles is awesome. They don't smell like anything, but that's fine. We don't care. I love the look of the dripping wax down them. And speaking of candles, here is a very fun candlestick holder that I absolutely love. I don't know what it is about this negative space, but you're able to either see the books that you have behind it or the collage you have behind it, and they just look really cute and elegant, and I personally want more of these throughout my house because they are simple and they don't distract the eye. Just something about them. I don't know. Big fan. And like I said, I am a bullet journaler. I am not a scrapbooker. I really use it for purely functional purposes, but I love having washi tape for tabs and bookmarks. And I love, like I said, gold is one of my colors. So these tape rolls are super fun and I use them all the time usually to mark a spot that i messed up just throw a piece of tape over it and call it a collage there are a couple of different options out there but i personally just really like the black and gold look but i also found these and these earth tones are doing something to me i don't know what it is but i'm playing around with them because they're very fun and i love the texture and I've been slowly incorporating, especially this maroon one, into my spreads. Again, I don't spend a ton of time bullet journaling. I use it very functionally, but these definitely make it more fun and more aesthetically pleasing. And last but not least, and probably my favorite thing, is this handbag. Oh my gosh, this price, unbeatable, and it is such good quality. It is huge. I am obsessed and there are so many different colors. I got black, but I'm tempted to maybe get a green one. I don't know. But these, I cannot, I cannot recommend this enough. It is so big and bulky and it just fits everything you need inside. I am a huge fan. I love it. And they, they just feel so quality. So if you're on the fence, know that this is something off of the whole list other than the books that I am a big, big fan of. And that's it. I just want to say thank you so much for sticking it around. But I have one question. Someone asked if I would be willing to put like a dark academia or a light academia playlist in the background to help keep you more engaged. I was wondering if that's something you liked. Maybe I'll do it towards the end of this video so you can tell me. I honestly just make these videos for you and because they're fun. And so if there's something I can do to make it more engaging, let me know. On a completely different note, I've actually made my own dark academia playlist playlist like slowed and reverbed and it's exactly what I like and it's like two hours long would that be something you guys would be interested in me posting let me know anyway thank you again for sticking around I really appreciate it okay bye